Alright, so we're doing another lower body session today. I've just finished off with the lying cable lateral raise, um, similar to last week, targeting the adults first. They're not going to affect my lower body session and as I said last week, they need a lot of love and attention if you want them to grow. This week, yay, it's no more intensifiers or anything like that, so no Maya matching. Actually, I think there's one Maya matching, maybe. Um, and no giant sets or anything like that, just straight sets was the way that I love to train. Um, so we're gonna go on with the lying hamstring curl, targeting the hamstrings in their fully shortened position. Um, a few things that you wanna be cautious with this one is as you start to fatigue, your hips are going to want to lift off that pad to act to try and lengthen the hamstrings, make the movement a little bit easier on you. So just be cautious to try and keep them down into the pad the entire time. Don't let your butt kind of flare out. Nice and controlled movements because we're trying to target the shortened position of the hamstring. We do want to pause in that position, have total management over there and then go slowly through the eccentrics. puppy to mum's on Friday night and my cousin was there played with him like the entire time got home at 10 30 he fell asleep at 11 slept till 11 30 a.m. the next morning like yeah wow. he's a good puppy grow. yeah I've dropped a bit of weight since being back from the UK, which isn't good. So I'm not expecting to get any PPs at the moment because I'm feeling very, very tired. Um, the puppy. Good fatigue. Um, here's a well, here's a, I don't know why I put weight on this. Anyway, um, here's a well-behaved puppy, but it's just constant attention. Smith machine squats, heels elevated. That's purely just to get a little bit more knee flexion so that we can target the quads a little bit more. Um, so getting the quads in their mid to lengthen range here. Um, as always, nice and controlled throughout the eccentric. It's really important when you're doing like a free weight movement so that your pelvis has time to stabilize itself. Slight pause in that stretch position and then a little bit more aggressive on the concentric. Still got abs at the moment because I lost weight. <laughs> Forty grams of carbs. No, I love lately dark chocolate. <laughs> You're gonna be like, it's not even that high. <laughs> it's like seventy-four <laughs> percent. Um, but it has to have the berries in it. 
So I found this one in the UK that was delicious, but they don't sell it here. So um, I found one on iHerb that's very, very similar. So I just pay extra for that. Just don't share it with anyone because they're very out of stock. I'm coming for you. <laughs> glue drive. Um, was meant to be smooth machine glute bridges but I'm opting for the glute drive. Um, targeting the glutes in their shortened position so in order to do that similar to like the lying leg curl we want to have management over the eccentric so that we don't sort of accelerate into that concentric and bounce out of that top position which is going to make us lose management over that shortened range. Um, so just making sure that you're really controlling the movement. A cue that I like to use my clients is imagine squeezing your glutes on the way down as well. And that's going to prevent you from kind of like losing tension and then driving up into that eccentric, uh, concentric. Um, the other thing would be just make sure you're keeping a rigid spine as you hinge at the hips so that we don't go into back extension and lengthen those glutes. That right in my ass. She's good. And then we got hip press and adductor. A good position. I feel like you can twerk, twerk in here.
Okay, so Sean's making me do a wrap up. <laughs> um, uh, so that kind of concludes our session. We did, um, I did lying delt cable raises, the lying delt cable raises, lying lateral cable raises, um, which you didn't get to film, but that's just essentially lying down and getting some delts in. So it'll be my last upper body day, I believe I did them. Um, lying hamstring curl, tagging the hamstrings in their fully shortened position. Um, a Smith machine squats, getting the quads in their mid to lengthen range. Glute drive, getting the glutes in their shortened position. Uh, leg press, getting sort of like the glutes in that, in that lengthen range as well. The beauty about that leg press is that it kind of drops off in those lengthen ranges so that you can get a little bit more range of motion there. And then a doctor. Um, and that's everything. All straight sets today, except for that last adductor that was a Maya match. Um, I tried to go heavier on that one. I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have stuck with the 90 pounds. Um, but that's all.